recording. Hello. Welcome to the weekly mobile support meeting for Mozilla. This is where we talk about how we do customer support for Firefox for Android and Firefox OS. Hello, Ralph. Welcome. Ralph's in Portland. Roland's in Vancouver. Hermina is in Paris. Michael's face muted in Texas. And I'm here in San Francisco. All right, so I have an agenda. I put it in the Zumo channel. This is always uh, just a 30 minute sync up. We have some exciting things happening today. Hermina, tell us what exciting things you saw today on your phone, on your Firefox OS phone. <laughs> well, I was I was kind of expecting it since yesterday because uh, Guillermo from Telefonica told me that today is the big day and they are uh, updating it. So um, yeah, I, I had a wonderful one update on uh, on my ZTE on the ZTE I was from Spain, and it uh, worked. I used my 3G connection and not wireless because I wanted to see how uh, how it works. Actually, I wanted to use the uh, the Spanish SIM. You know, like Telefonica has this great thing that for all the prepay and postpay users, they can download these updates for free. So if you're on prepay, you don't need credit. If you're on postpay, you don't lose you know uh, mega for download downloading it, which is cool. So I uh, I tried to, but then I realized that I'm, I'm in roaming. So I will have probably have some charges for roaming. Then I, I just dropped it and use my French SIM. But uh, I used 3G. It worked. It worked immediately. Uh, no problem there. Uh, I didn't have like uh, I, I wanted to play with it uh, a bit. What I have noticed, and I think uh, I think Michelle mentioned it as well today. Uh, it's about the, the GPS thing because you know I, I found that bug on a GPS and I was kind of following it to see if, uh, if it's better. So I, I checked that one and it's for me at least is like one thing I've seen it found my location which already I'm not pretty sure I understand because I was still inside so I was still in the building so well but the thing is that it, it, it saw me you know in uh, in Paris night which is great. And uh, I, uh, I also looked for a, for a close location and it found it immediately. I mean, it didn't take, you know, usually it was taking me, I don't know, one minute or two minutes to stay and wait. And now it, it went immediately. So I was pretty glad. But uh, apart from this, I will have to check, to check for other things as well. Awesome. I had the same experience here in San Francisco with my Spain phone. Um, I used Wi-Fi. Um, because I don't have a chip in this phone right now. And everything looks great. All my data is there. Um, and there's a new app for YouTube. I think that was one of the new um, mm -hmm. things that's in 1.1, which is really cool. And, um, and my GPS is finding me inside also. So, ah, cool. uh, so great work on that, Hermina. Um, I know that you drove that one from the start and um, so I don't know um, this is very exciting so it's just for Spain so far so not but, Movistar. Um, I don't see what's that Roland not for the Movistar phones the uh... yeah the, the Movistar, yes, Movistar. Movistar Spain okay um, just so um, so not yet for Colombia and Venezuela, but um, I think it's really exciting since we started um, almost exactly three months ago. So, so it's very cool to have the one on one update already going out to customers. So, thanks, Romina, for that update. Um, let's and see. just just to, to 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 add something on this for uh, for our contributors and uh, and all our friends from Spain. We have all documentation on one dot one in English. I think we have it in Spain as well. But if you could have a look, you know, and just check it and make sure everything is all right and just, you know, modify anything that has to be modified, it would be highly appreciated. Yes, thank you. Um, and oh, what I was going to say is I haven't seen anything on the Mozilla Hispano forum about this yet today, which is, I'm surprised. Um, I haven't seen any posts about this from anyone in Spain yet saying that they did get the update. Um, but of course, we'll be watching it uh, for the next few days.
days. And um, we also launched phones in Germany yesterday with Kongstar, which is a branch, uh, an operating business of Deutsche Telekom. And there's a link there to their front page of the Kongstar website, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we should be very excited in Germany uh, that they have Firefox OS devices as well. Uh, Verdi, you want to give your updates? Um, well, uh, Hermina just said it. I mean, basically, 1.1 stuff is all done. It's been localized um, in Spanish. I think everything and uh, other locales are in progress. Um, and over this week and next week, I'll be working on the rest of the uh, top articles. Many of those 1.1 articles are also top articles, but um, so other things that are, you know, stayed the same uh, top articles I'll be working on uh, this week and next. All right. Cool. Um, okay, so I put in the, Ralph, did you have any updates on um, B2G Firefox OS from this week? Uh, no, no updates. Uh, the translation uh, is in progress, uh, and we're getting we're getting help from the contributors. Uh, so we should have the, um, the the what's new in well the what's new in one dot one article has already been translated, and we're trying to get all the uh, multimedia and the most important articles uh, out of the uh, all, all translated, um, and. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, I know you guys have done a ton of work on all the Firefox OS articles for Brazilian Portuguese, and um, it looks really good. I mean, there's just a few things that aren't localized yet, so we are in good shape. Um, <clears throat> thanks, Michael, for all your hard work on that, and Hermina um, for getting those updates taken care of. And 1.2 comes out approximately 12 weeks from now. Is our approximately, yeah. I mean, um, I think that 1.2. Um, well, I mean, uh, as always, the OEMs decide when it actually gets released. But that's yeah, our idea. Of course. That's what we want to do. Is really a a 12 week cycle. So 1.2 is already in the process of going through integration. It has started integration and much of engineering is already working on 1.3. Perfect. Um, I think most of the questions and feedback that I've seen for Firefox OS this week is like, when am I getting 1.1? Have you all seen other things cropping up? Um, I mean, the stuff we've what? seen on the English forum is related to fast boot. I could put in the Etherpad. Sorry, Hermina, were you going to say something? Go ahead and I'll just continue that to work. Okay. Um, so they're getting some more documentation on MDN for um, for the fast boot instructions for those eBay phones because we know the ZTE instructions are a little, they're not perfect by any means, and people need to understand how to actually flash. Um, but one thing that did come out of um, the summit and a lot of conversations I had with people is, um, I mean, serving these folks who want to flash their own devices is a lower priority than customers with real issues. And we should also encourage all of those developers to just write some apps, please. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but MDN is working on it, which is good because they we do need to have some documentation for people to reflash this phone, these phones, and over time, we'll get to where we are right now, where people are feeling more satisfied, like they are now with Geek's phone. But Geek's phone, I think, sort of started out the same way, a little bit rocky at first, and then over time, people get comfortable, they figure out how to do things, and then there's not so much, like, um, so many threads about how to get things flashed. So, Hermina, did you want to bring up some feedback stuff for Firefox OS? 
Yes, uh, so just two things I'd like to add. Uh, one is related to what you said earlier. One thing I uh, I discovered during the summit, and it, I don't know, it, it upset me a bit, was that a couple of uh, persons asked me about where to find um, instructions to flash their phones. So they are, uh, they are part of our community, so this information should be available somewhere for them so that there's, you know, there's very simple and uh, straightforward for them. So this was one thing I, I kind of supposed they already know this. Um, and maybe we, I don't know, want to follow up uh, on this a bit. It's my fault. I, I remembered only now that I had this conversation, uh, now that you mentioned it. So I will maybe try to follow up in the next couple of days. Uh, and secondly, uh, yes, about feedback, we had some complaints on the keyboard and we've also had some, uh, some things on the camera. So, um, um, like in relation to key keyboard, I can say that engineers are working on this and it seems that we are going to, uh, to solve it in 1.1.2. So, it's, we, we have to wait a bit. It's uh, like people were complaining about uh, keyboards not being, uh, like the buttons not being very reliable. And even if you press them hard, it's sometimes ejected and happen, you know, for you to be able to write proper message, which happens to me a couple of times as well. Uh, I, I wouldn't generalize, but it happened. Uh, that's why I followed up and news is that in one to two will be, so we'll solve this. And another um, another thing, uh, people are asking more and more uh, about Instagram, which is uh, like there were some questions, uh, you know, in like first month of Twitter, but now every time if somebody asks about WhatsApp, they also ask about Instagram, which is really interesting. Want more apps? I'm sorry. Yes, they, did you say when they ask about WhatsApp, they also ask about what? Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Sorry, Michael. Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Instagram. Awesome. Great. That's great. That's great. Good updates there. Yeah, keyboard um, improvements are coming in 1.2. Um, and yeah, camera feedback in review about some of that. But yeah, we should push on. And I wanted to ask for the community members, um, do you know what devices they were using that they wanted to flash? Because it's different for every device how to flash it. So it depends yep. what they're using. If they have sure. most of our contributors that I met at the summit have Geeks phones. Yes, they, they were asking me about the Geeks phone as well. Oh, so they have good instructions on the geeksphone.com website for flashing. Super easy. Yes, it was just that they didn't know they have to go on Geek's phone websites to flash it, you know. So that's why I was surprised because for me, I, I thought this is a like a thing that they know, but they didn't. Maybe I'm like I, I got this question from three persons, I think, three or four persons. Maybe it's not like you know something that you can generalize, but anyway, maybe we want to have it available somewhere. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, and mo a lot of the people who have the devices are reps. And so, you know, they probably weren't trained at all on flashing. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it may not have been um, a thought. You know, it was really just to get them some version or the first version to get them started with um, sales training. Michael? Yeah, didn't. Um... Tyler just emailed to the Sumo staff the website for the Geeks Phone downloads, but also the files, like you want to replace the fast boot file or something. I don't know. I, I've done it before. It's just been a while. There's some file that you need to replace in their thing when you flash it or something. Yeah, I was and surprised he, why that would be. I don't know. Yeah, why. I don't know either. That yeah, be it's the case, weird. But maybe it's to fix the problem with 1.3 in SIM cards? I don't know. <clears throat> um, but honestly, um, you know, contributors who are working on support should be running what um, most of our users are on, which is still 1.0 right now, um, until 
you know, I mean, even if they move to 1.1 on the Geek's phone, it's going to be somewhat different from 1.1 on the commercial devices. So it is helpful. Um, oh, really? 1.1 on the Geek's phone is different? OK. Well, yeah. I mean, there are carrier customizations for each device. Uh, every device is a little different, actually, right. um, in every market, because there's local content and not not significantly different, uh, but slightly. So. Okay. Um, okay. Cool. Great updates. Thank you. Oh, and I put in here, we're trying to get a separate forum on the German forum. Um, and I know Madalena is working on it, but I thought I would put it in this agenda, too, in case there are contributors um, to the camp firefox.de forums who can help us. Um, because we would love to have something separate for Firefox OS, just so questions don't get buried in all the Firefox desktop questions as people start getting phones in Germany. So Kadir said that he's going to order some because he's our uh, Deutschlander uh, <laughs> who speaks German and let us know um, what his experience is like and how it goes. Yeah, and, uh, sorry, please. Roland? Oh, I said it just should be interesting because he doesn't live in the big city, right? Right. He doesn't live in Berlin. Yeah, okay, we'll see ahead. how long it takes to get to him. I think it's just online ordering at this time. Armina. Uh, another, another point I touched on with Madalina was about the forum for Serbia. So, uh, you know, there was a discussion uh, on around having a forum for Serbian Latin and another one for Serbian Cyrillic. So we, uh, Madalina's opinion was that we should have just one for Serbian Cyrillic and uh, because it's, uh, it, it seems it's broadly used. Uh, and uh, she told me that she's going to follow up with somebody from Serbia just to double check because I was just a bit afraid that those persons, you know, using Latin not to be, you know, uh, I don't know, stressed with asking questions on a on a Serbian community like, uh, forum. So, if there's somebody from the from the Serbian community who is going to to see this video, please let us know if uh, on your feedback is it better to have two forums or just one? Is it like, is it true that Serbian Cyrillic is widely used and Latin is just, you know, a nice item to have or or not? Hey, I um a separate side note update. I um I was uh testing buying an app. Uh and it's different in the United States. You have to do it's not carrier billing. You put in your credit card information, but it worked. I did it twice. I mean, <laughs> Yay. I mean, I mean, it worked no problem the first time. The second time you just have to put in the pin that you create when you uh when you set it up the first time and then you can buy all the apps you want after that. Um, cool. Pretty cool. I found this little uh, like retro 8-bit dungeon hunter game. It's really cool. Oh, oh, I just found a bug where every time you get treasure, it freezes. So I'm sending them an email. Was this on your key on or was this? No, on the, I'm doing it on the Unagi. OK. Wow, I'm surprised to hear it works in the United States with your credit card. That's awesome. Yep. <laughs> Scary. You know, I always just let my kid have the phone, like now. <laughs> you guys know your pin number or your credit card. Trouble. Well, you yeah, gotta check, put in a, check your credit card. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, yeah, that is very cool, though. And um, I mean, we talked a little bit about uh, when we've been talking about Persona for Sumo for a while, but um, I mean, Persona works okay for Marketplace, but not for us yet. Yep. Oh, that's great that you were able to buy apps. Um, 
Michael, by okay. the way, did, did you have the chance to, to see my email? Did you have the chance to, to look at the... I sent you a link with 1.2 documentation, you know, like not documentation, but 1.2, um, like, um, the roadmap? things to... Yes, the roadmap. Uh, and I just wanted to make sure that you've seen it, because there was a follow-up I had to uh, make with you, you know. Oh, no, I saw that you sent me the email, but I haven't gotten to read the email yet. Ah, okay, okay. But I saw that you said you want to talk about it tomorrow, so I'll make sure I, I, don't know. This, I look the, at it. Uh, no, it's, a, it's an email I sent you yesterday on, uh, on oh. one or two. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't lose it, you know, and you, you have it because there's a link there with all the roadmap for one or two, so you can already start scoping on it. Gotcha. So there's okay. no... Okay. All right, we've got 10 minutes. In the etherpad. Yeah, go Firefox for Android, go. <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was just saying, we only, I was just doing the time thing. I wasn't concerned. Um, so 25 updates are really, really going to be finished this week in English. And uh, we're finishing the 26 research. Um, there's etherpads there. Help, you know, if the research would be helpful, uh, scoping up the articles, help would be appreciated. And uh, 24 seems to be okay. Um, yeah, all is quiet in Android land. I think we're still recovering from the summit. <laughs> and um, what cool features are coming in 25 and 26 that people can get excited about? Well, in 25, we get mixed content and we get guest sessions. So the guest session is cool because you can prevent other people from seeing your bookmarks for the sites that you bookmark to shop for gifts for your, no. You can hand your phone to your spouse or your partner and then he or she won't know that your bookmarks or your hand passwords. It to a friend and passwords so they can't buy stuff with your browser. Right. <laughs> so guest mode is really cool and then in 26 we have a redesigned homepage uh, which is really cool and it's in the, all these things are in the etherpad that are linked there. So we have a redesigned startup screen or they call it about home developers, but I think it's a home screen or start screen is what we would call it for normal people. And those are the major uh, things. More coming. So the top sites are, are redesigned? Yes, so it should be friendlier and it should be better for most people. Um, it should actually be helpful on startup. It's still not the super simple start screen that some people would like to have, but I think um, it's much better. Um, and you can test it out right now on um, Aurora if for those uh, thrill seekers. You can see the new About Home screen on Aurora, uh, which you can download from, I guess, Aurora. That was all the door. Firefox Aurora, which is not a Google Play Store for thrill seekers. Awesome. And that's it. Okay. And mixed content, is that mixed content blocking? Yes, yeah. yes, just like desktop, basically. That's in 25, and 26 has the new redesign homepage. 25 also has the guest session that I just talked about. Cool. Those are and that's changes. It. Exciting, thank you. Um, is there anything else we should add to the agenda? I see Naoki put his um, QA updates. Oh, cool! Thanks, man. Um, into the Etherpad. <clears throat> Slashing in 1.1 on Inari is still a concern. Um, so something going on with the fast boot there again. Open issues. Um, the Wi-Fi not staying consistently. And um, oh, and the landing of ringtones. Yeah. Into one dot two. I've um, yeah, only one dot three. One dot three is probably the best we're going to be able to do for that, which he's adding right now, <laughs> which is funny. Um, yeah, and then we got the uh, over the air update to one dot one today. So yes, everyone's very excited <laughs> to see that. All right, cool. cool. If there are no other updates, thank you all for joining our weekly mobile support meeting. We'll be back here next week, same time, same place.
and um, again, contributors can help with um, scoping Firefox for Android content updates and also tell us how you um, work in the Serbian Cyrillic or Serbian Latin, um, if you have thoughts on that. And yeah, there's a Serbian dude who's supposed to show up at the Vancouver office this week. I'll talk to him about it. His oh, name is yeah, Boris. Would you ask him? I will if he shows up. He said he would be here today, but I haven't, he hasn't texted me. Or yesterday. Great. Anyways, Boris, I know you're not listening to this recording, but if you are, there's a question for you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, thanks everyone. Have a great Thank week. Thank you. Bye. Ciao. Bye. Bye.